most of the cable prep for the Pirelli cold shrink straight joint is standard, and we'll skip over those procedures. With both cables prepped, slide the joint body onto one of the cables. Keep the plastic liner in place to protect the joint body from dirt, and take care not to nick the inside of the body on the end of the conductor. Insert both conductors fully into the connector and use a suitable crimping tool with proper dies to indent the connector. Shoot. On Shoot. all except the smallest connectors, make two indents on each side. Shoot. Shoot. Clean the exposed cable insulation with the materials supplied in the kit. The kit contains two packages of high permittivity mastic pads. Using gray mastic strips from package A1, fill the gaps between the connector and the cable insulation. Use two strips of mastic at each end of the connector. Fill the indents on the connector with small pieces of gray mastic. Wrap the mastic pad from package HPA2 over the connector. The pad must overlap the insulation on both cables equally. Remove the yellow labels from the splice body and fold back the plastic bag. Slide the splice body away from the plastic bag and center over the splice. Insert twisting handles into the slots at each end of the carrier tube. The handles should be orientated so that you can twist in opposite directions. Check to be sure that the joint body is centered and twist steadily about 180 degrees to release the short carrier tube. The short carrier tube will eject itself on the side opposite the blue straps. Reposition the splice body one inch from the end of the body to the edge of the neutrals. Break the ejected carrier tube by hammering on the black lines and rotating it until it splits. Recheck to be sure the body is positioned correctly and then remove the blue straps to allow the long carrier tube to eject itself. You can see the joint body shrinking as the tube ejects.